Hello everyone. Now I was looking down the memory lane thinking about the games I used to play as a child and one thing popped in my mind and this one is fun, energetic and absolute chaos of a game called Crazy Taxi. And if you don't know what Crazy Taxi is, it's basically a game that came out in 1999. Yeah, I know, better times. We didn't have this depression called life and was made by Hitmaker and published by Sega. It came out in practically every platform at the time, which is basically like the arcade. You know that place where we would physically go to play games? It also came out on the PlayStation 2 and the PlayStation 3 and boy this game was successful. The premise of the game was that each game has the player assume the role of a taxi driver who must accumulate money by delivering passengers to their destinations in the fastest time possible, earning tips by performing crazy stunts before the time runs out. And if you think, oh my god, this game is really simple, well that was the point of the game. The franchise has been recognized for its innovative gameplay design which is easy to learn but difficult to master. What made the game even more special it is its soundtrack provided by the bands The Offspring and The Bad Religion. Now I had an idea how I can recreate this game inside of Unity. Let's start. Now first thing that I did is I copied my old car project that I never ever used for anything other than making that 3 minute video. Huh, who would have said that it would actually be of some use? Now I'm truly ready to start my game making progress. Wait, 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 what is that? Oh, oh, that's my computer absolutely destroying itself. Oh, oh, this is great. I love my life so much. Well, thankfully, I have my laptop, so I just started on there. Now that we're able to drive the car because we copied our car mechanics from the other project, the first thing that I'm going to change is the car model to be a taxi car. I searched the web and its darkest secrets to find the best taxi model possible, and I managed to find this. An absolute gold. Putting it in the game didn't work, as you can see, and it is an absolute travesty. It doesn't even drive, it just flips on its backside. It would fit the industry standards though. <laughs> so I just opted to go for a basic yellow taxi car. How lame am I, right? Now that we have a car and we can drive it around this beautiful green plane. Into the sunset we can even drift, leaving skid marks on the ground. It kinda looks like Forza 5, not gonna lie. Like graphically, I know it's somewhere around that region. I wanted to import a city into it to make our taxi car not so lonely anymore. Well, the first city I found online because my designing skills are not very good and by not very good I mean a child from the 4th grade would have done a better job than me. So I imported that bad boy in. The loading took about 16 minutes, the buildings were loading way too slow and we can't have a 20 year old game run faster in 1999 on this bullshit than our game made in Unity in 2022. I tried deleting some stuff from the map which increased the performance but still we would need a loading screen which I then decided I didn't want at all. So even though it was a nice looking city, it was a bit overcrowded as well, so I decided to bin this one as well. It was time to take matters into my own hands and try to build the most expansive world in history of racing games. You're looking at Gran Turismo, ah no, that's nothing. Forza Horizon, absolute shit. Crazy Taxi remake in Unity by Dan, the best in the world. Well, if the best in the world meant that you can't even drive your car onto the road and it looked like ass, I think we would have that trophy in the bag, lads. That failed miserably, so I decided why not bring some AI into the mix. I can't design anything if you gave me a 60 million dollars, but I can program, so I made a friend, and this random ass white car, and let's call him Jerry. It would just drive around into the waypoint you set him to. I mean, I kinda stole that from my AI video tutorial I made. It's basically the same thing, I just refactored the code a bit, so it works on cars and not on like, humans. And if you think so far then, you have literally made nothing. You just reuse all of the stuff you made before. And let me introduce you to my channel. I'm a lazy bastard who only makes stuff by copying and pasting my old once good project. Or half good. Or not bad. Okay, they suck. Is that what you wanted to hear? But at least we have AI cards, right? Don't you dare forget Jerry. I added the boost with the boost meter and a particle effect, also the miles per hour so you can brag to your friends how fast you're going, cause gotta go fast. N no, no, too old, oh, okay, uh, well it was time to make the game 
fun. So adding objectives is our next goal. Now in the actual game, as you can see, you would pick up a customer, drive it to the destination in a certain time and you would get paid. Well, that was simple actually, uh, but I made this blob though. Kinda looks ugly, but I added the transparency so you don't see it as much. Design 100. You have one for getting the objective, that one was red. And you had one for finishing the objective, that one is green. Congrats, I actually have zero knowledge in making anything look good. Now I wrote some code and bing bada boom. When you enter a circle and you stay in it for a couple of seconds, it actually disappears. Now I even made a text saying you're picking up a customer. And you're probably wondering, hey Dan, what are you doing? In original game there was people and there were animations. Well, I can't be bothered to do the animations, it would take me literal ages, plus I don't have my PC, remember that all error red thingy? So yeah, don't judge me, please. I'm working my hardest here. Now what I made next is when you enter a circle, you have to wait 3 seconds, you get the money, also you get a timer countdown, saying how fast you must deliver the customer to its desired place. Also the sphere now disappears. Now I even made finished sphere and this one is green and it's completely the same. The one thing left to do is to make it randomized because otherwise the game would be sucky sucky bad. So you see what's missing in our game that the original had. Well, apart from the map, the city and all of the animations and all of the people, the sky... Okay, 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 I get it, you can stop now. Well, it's this waypoint arrow. Obviously, we're missing the waypoint arrow saying where we need to go. Well, I found this chungus, added the bird boy in and it doesn't work. It's showing me I have to get off the map. I guess the game is that bad, huh? Well, if you really want to know, it's not because of that, it's because of math. I just had to adjust the rotation and face of the waypoint arrow. Now I chucked in some transparency and look at our arrow go, showing both the objective start and the objective finish. And the game is looking juicy, may I add. I played around with it a bit, make sure everything works perfectly and it does. I would even say that it actually looks good and this is the one thing that it actually works and it's perfect. Now for the city or the road I tried multiple things. Firstly obviously I didn't want to do any of the work so I asked my brother to do it and this is the video he sent me. No 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 not that one not that one it's this one it's this one lads Jesus Christ. He actually made it, but the Unity package file was freaking broken, so I had to do absolutely everything by myself. I mean, it's not fair. It's not fair at all. I have to do everything around here. It's so annoying. I, ha I made the road, but it looks ugly. Also, the only texture that I had was this mud. And for some reason, my car was extremely fast on it, making it impossible not to crash, or it was impossible to turn. It was kind of unplayable. So I downloaded this city and added a simple traffic system. Thank you, Unity Asset Store, you beautiful thing. And as you can see, my laptop started to shit himself because there's more than one plane and a yellow color taxi. And don't forget about Jerry, he's important. He doesn't even have any color. The lack has started and I couldn't drive the way I wanted and it was all a bit shit. But I tested it and it worked alright. It just didn't look right. We needed those frames. Also, we need traffic and we need it badly. Plus, you remember our randomized system where the objectives would go to the randomized places? And I said I tested it and I also said that it works perfectly. I also said that that was the only thing that actually looked good. Well, if you look at this, it would go to any randomized place. And we have to fix that. And the way I did it is basically placing 50 spawn points across the map, randomize the start and the finish objective on it so it would be more fun. But to fix it all, I needed my PC. So I searched the internet on how to fix this shit in our box that I have over here. Turns out my RAM stick is bad. So I took it out of my PC to finish this masterpiece and it worked. The PC now works and we're ready to finish the traffic, fix the objectives and look at the frames we have now. We finally have the power to finish this game once and for all and never open the project again. I tested the spawn point method and as you can see now our objectives are on the road, are visible and accessible and everything is working and does it look good. It was finally time to put the traffic AI inside the game and with that the final touch of the Crazy Taxi remake. It wasn't easy, especially with my PC breaking on me. And does it work? Look at this beauty of a game. Everything works perfectly thanks to the simple traffic system on the Unity Store. We can pick people up 
get money and drive them to the destination. We can use the boost, we can drift. It is actually quite fun to drive around trying to finish in the time limit. I could have done more with the taxi model, which I feel bad about, but I was furious with everything that happened with my PC, so I decided to leave it as it is, making it so that this taxi is the one and only thing that was with us the entire journey. Also, don't forget about Jerry. This was a difficult video to make and I would appreciate if you could subscribe, maybe like, comment on what game I should remake next and I will see you in the next one. See ya! Also, if you're wondering uh, where in the description is this game, well it's not because Sega actually patented the gameplay and they sued The Simpsons the Road Rage game, so I'm not gonna put the link. Maybe if they email me saying that I can, I'll put it, but... I don't want to get sued or anything, so yeah, I'm sorry about that. See you.